Everybody, everybody on the internet, welcome back to a traditional Ravnica Allegiance draft. Whatever I was just trying to help. I know, I understand, and I was just telling you why it wasn't helpful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's do it. How would we have? 6,000 Gemmy Boys? Gemmerinos? Okay, no, this is not, this is not a preferred look. Stomping Ground. Let's take this Biogenic Upgrade. How about that? This card is pretty game winning. Chillbreaker is good too. This lets us be a little open though. So does this. No, none of these cards, all these cards are, are open because none of them are really gold. So I'm going to take this guy. Chillbringer. Or a Rampaging Rendhorn, which is the better 5 drop. It's probably Chillbringer. Wow, I wish you guys wouldn't fight. I hate it when my kids fight. Mortify, very good, but I don't feel like giving up a Biogenic upgrade for a Mortify. Let's just take a Chillbringer. Shut up and take my money. Okay, okay. Cheryl Crow, hey Frank, glad you like my song. If it makes you happy, <laughs> I can't. I have to go now. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Cheryl Crow was really quick. That was that was really fast. Yep, that was the thing, all right. Oh my god. Wow, she was just ready. She was just ready to go. <laughs> god, all these all these artists are promoting Apple Music too, which is kind of funny. Like I didn't think that Apple Music was that big of a thing. All right, so it's one of these three. I don't man, it might be the Guild Gate. It's not this guy. It could also be Deploy Depose and we could be blue white. I think it's better than the other cards in that pack. Plus the first half is still playable. I like Eyes Everywhere a lot, actually. More than I think I should, but I'm going to take it anyway. Oh, a Rampaging Rendy McRenderson. We could take a Fairy Duelist. I think Rendhorn is a little stronger. Okay, well. There's another one. Oh, Gate Colossus? Alright, fine. Oh, I just never want to pass a Gate Colossus, and as such, I will take a Simic Guild Gate. Hmm. Are we just banned here? I don't think so. I also like that, uh, I appreciate the effort put in to, like, let me go find Sheryl Crow's latest album for this meme. <laughs> I actually have no idea how old that album is, either. That could be, I don't know if that's, like, from last year, or if it's from, like, five years ago, or ten years ago. I don't know how Sheryl Crow is keeping up with her, uh, wow, 2017? That's recent. Hey, Chris, how did you know that? Hmm, fascinating. Very fascinating. I wanted to thank you. I spent most of the week at the hospital in between the random root snares, skewering the critics, and Mike's birthday. You made the stay more endurable. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say that you are one of the most genuine and entertaining personalities magic streaming. I have no doubt that you'll make it through the saturation of streaming. I know I'll continue to support you as best I can. Thank you so much. Oh, young Ram, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much for saying so. Those are the kindest of words, and I'm glad I could help you out through some... Uh, through some unfortunate hospital visits. Oh, another biogenic upgrade. Mm. I think two is better than one, right? I do like a Titanic Brawl, but I don't think I'd take it over a biogenic upgrade because this card's game. Oh, precognitive perception, eh? I'll take that. I don't foresee us playing uh, white emergency powers well. How many emergency powers do I have? Can I look at my collection? Yes, I can. I have four. Okay. So if I don't need it. Then it might just be Simic Guildgate. I did say, I did say fucking Root Snare. I did say that. Jeez, that looks shorter when I wrote it. <laughs> Uh, I feel like there are two drops. Two drops are uh, harder to get than good top ends in this form, and I have noticed that, actually. Um, which is why, like, Fairy Duelist and Styrofoam Hybrid are, are like, at a premium. 
that being said, we have a Gate Colossus. I think some of Guild Gate's probably better. Hmm. Okay, well, this pack is pretty nuts, and I hope one of these comes back. Four cards are coming back. Um... Actually, with Biogenic Upgrade, it's Skatewing Spice seems pretty insane, right? Like, we can just put counters on all of our things, and, uh... Swirling Torrent is pretty nice. We have a lot of six drops now. Gross Spirals would be okay. Fairy Duelist is nice. Second Gate Colossus? Alright, we're just taking second Gate Colossus here. Uh, I like Skittering Eel a lot. Skitter Eel, not Skittering Eel. It is not Skittering... Hmm... I think it's Brawl here. Brawl is a removal spell, dude, which is a pump spell. I'm going to take the Expose, because if we actually end up getting some Azorius Gates, we can actually play that. Duelist came back. Very, very nice. Duelist came back again. We And nothing was lost, ladies and gentlemen. And nothing was lost. Thank you! Yoakum, 59 months in a row. That is an unbelievable amount of time. I love you, buddy. You are the best. It's always a pleasure to see you, even though you don't play much magic. You nerd. You anti-nerd. I'm going to take Shark to Crab. I would like this st st Styrofoam Hybrid to come back, but uh, if it doesn't, I'll understand. I'll understand. What's going on with this collar over here? But Shark to Crab is one of the best uh, Simic cards available. Okay, so <clears throat> this actually helped our deck a good amount. One of these drafts, you should try the Cavalcade Claiming Goblin Gander deck. It, the, the problem is that Cal Cavalcade is uncommon, so it's not super easy to force. How do our four drops look? Shark, Skitter Eel, Skate Wing Spy. Just three. I think we can take a Gruel Beastmaster here. Another Chillbringer. Hmm. So right now we only have three five drops. Yeah, we can take a Chillbringer. It's probably better than Steeple Creeper. I mean, as a card, it's definitely better, but... <clears throat> hmm. It's just Titanic Brawl. We already have a Quench. I don't think I want a second Quench. Uh, we're probably not splashing white. We have no reason to play a white card here. Um, Depose Deploy might not make the cut if we don't play white, so... We're also already at 23 cards, so... And we're looking for gates. These gate colossuses might actually not make the cut if we don't have things to do. I like stony silence because stony strength rather, because uh, you can just put counters on the guys that want the counters, like shark to crab, skate wing spy. You can just sneak a counter on a on a rampaging rendhorn or like a chillbringer and give it flight because they don't they wouldn't have it otherwise. They would. <clears throat> well, you see, son. Papa, you, you see, son. Let me see what the temperature is right now. Uh, it looks pretty toasty. 75 degrees. It's actually perfect. Four drops we have. One, two, three, four. Could take Senate Griffin. I don't think it's that great. I kind of like this just because it is removal. Like, being able to get rid of their bomb and make it a 3-3 three, three is not terrible. Probably just going to take Gruel Guildgate here. I don't think we need a third Titanic Brawl. I don't think we need a combat trick. Uh, high alert is interesting. I don't think it's great for our deck, though. Hmm. I did just spill drink all over my face. And my shirt, but it's okay. We don't have to tell anybody. We don't have to tell anybody. High alert's decent with Fairy Duelist. It's also decent with Skate Wing Spy, but that's pretty much it. We don't have any of the, the key components for a high alert deck, so I'm just going to take the volley and put it in the sideboard. Gonna do the same thing here. Can a dude get one more guild gate? The answer looks like it's gonna be no. Okay. Hmm. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. All right. I think our deck is still good. Oh, 20. Thank you so much, Magic. Really appreciate it. We can take out one. <clears throat> Actually, are we under? 
It said 24 before. Now we're at 38. That's weird. How many creatures are we looking at? 10 creatures? Oh, boy. That is... That is la yikes for me, dog. Whatever. Maybe it's two gate colossuses and... Uh, Maybe play play a second locket too. So this is one, two, this is seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, nine to ten. Sure, that seems fine. Wrecking Beast is alright, but I'd rather just have Gate Colossus instead, I think. I might just play the Thought Collapse here. Actually, I don't hate that. Oh, treasure chest. Vault progress. Let's save and exit and see what's, see what's going on here. Okay. Seems good. And done. Yeah, I like this. This is 17 lands with one one locket and one uh, open the gates. So I think that's actually a reasonable amount. <clears throat> um. Thank you. Is iffy. Tiger Nate, one more month until a new pig money was. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. 11 months in a row. Or 11 months total, I guess. Nope, please don't play this. Please don't play this. Okay. Sometimes it does the weird thing where, like, as soon as you touch it, it goes into play. This hand is slow, but it's okay. We'll get there. I have faith. I believe. Okay, we need one more land. And then we are good to go. G2G. No plays, so that's good. If you play the card in the game, you play it in real life. Oh god. Oh my god. Sure you pump that dude. So we got a nine here with nothing on the board. They did not play anything. Um Thank you. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will quench this because I have quenches in my hand. Okay, well, that's unexpected, I guess. I see. Well, you know, we tried. How about you concede the game instead of resolving the spell? Okay, well, there you go. Wow, they let them draw the card and everything. That's incredible. Sagittarius. I'm going to take the eyes everywhere because they're playing blue. I think it's better against the non-blue decks.
just found that you know my buddy. Yeah, I know I've known Roberto for years. Uh, I will keep this hand. The scoop deli is tilting, but it's tilting in a way where you're like, this doesn't make any sense why it bothers me, but it really does. Like, it's some kind of like, you're like, I want to end the game right now, and you're making it hard for me. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. Like, we're not going to play anything. We don't have a four drop to play next turn, so. Yeah, that's fine. Really enjoyed the best of one draft the other day. I like to see you draft in jail. Uh, the problem is, like, that format's really weird. Now. That was good. Although we have no... We have no real way to... It's just, uh, this has got to be instant, right? Counter this guy, please. I mean, don't, but... Oh, wow. Well, they are playing blue-green, so this guy might survive. Oh, they're just drawing two. They got nothing. Everything is on the table. I have uh, the national stuck in my head at this moment. Thank you. The Shadows, welcome back, buddy. 12 months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I wonder if you just run out chill bringer. I wonder. We could also put three counters on this guy and then double them, so it would be actually be eight counters, which makes it a 12-12. That's a lot. Maybe you guys didn't know that about the... I don't know what's happening, but I don't have audio from you, but I have audio on other Twitch channels. Very weird. Is that is that a problem for anybody else? Anybody not getting any audio? Should have waited, nerd. Josh, did you try? Did you try refreshing? Oh my god, my job started on January first, and it's awful. I'm gonna quit money. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, buddy. That sucks. That's the worst when you get a new job and you're like, oh, this isn't even good. This where they block and pump. Um, okay. That was unfortunate because you don't have a fifth land to play Chillbringer or Precognitive. But I mean, I guess if they're going to counter something, like I'd rather them counter that than. What did they hit? They hit land, land, gate, Colossus? It's actually not terrible. Pretty aggressive. Slime mine. All right. So we can put six counters on this, just make a nine nine flyer next turn. That's pretty good. Now we cannot. 
All right, so we can go Fairy Duelist, make this a 3-5. That does not do it, though. All right, they have one card in hand, though. We have a Precognitive Perception and a bunch of other things. Even a Biogenic Upgrade on this guy makes it, makes it a 6-8 again, which is pretty nuts. So I'm okay with it. Uh, put on top of its owner's library, this guy, return to hand, this guy. Thanks for my bro back. That was pretty good. That was pretty okay. Oh, you got it. I saw that coming. Boom, 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 Yeah, one, one counter. No attack arenas. For some reason, your audio is, not, is only coming from my center channel, and the input for that was being ignored because I was in similar surround simulation mode, which just uses the audio from the left. That that's something right there. Did you not check? Did you check other audio sources before you? Uh, like, did you play like music and see if it was just Twitch or no before you figured it out? Because that would make sense if you were like, oh man, this is only happening on Twitch. The Shadows, I will wish Mike a happy birthday for you. Mike, who is still at home today, even though he was supposed to go in for a 10-hour shift. And he did not. If you had a counter, I assume you'd counter the Rendhorn. Uh, what does Mike do? He works like at a fraud company. Like, he's just a... Titanic Brawl. Let's fight. Sounds good. Of course, now we can't attack, but... Wow. It's all looking good. Let's go to the next game. So if we play this guy, play this guy, kill this guy, pump this guy two, so we have three, four, they're gonna block here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gift of strength actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So five, five makes this a five, five. Both of these guys, this guy does a thing. <laughs> so what does this card say? Destroy target player. Okay, well that was that was much stronger than I expected it to be. They have a lot of uh They have a lot of fight cards, so let's keep that in mind. I'm tempted to bring in this just because they do have a lot of fight cards. So like they go to fight, we go to just like make your guy a, a smaller guy. I think we're pretty good like this though. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is okay. Mm 
Let's get a Simic Guild. Guild Gate. I don't know, I haven't been playing Mario, but it's still stuck in my head. That's fine. I mean, I know you have bigger things, but I'm not gonna like let you get that guy down and not quench it, and, you know, all that, all that stuff. Thank you. You got it. That's a good dude. Mysterious stranger with the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. If you guys have Twitch Prime, it's worth noting that you can connect to your Amazon and your Twitch accounts, and you get a free sub every month. So if you guys want to use that and help out the stream, it is really appreciated. One, two, three, four, five. We would go to eight here. Um, I really don't want this to get countered, but we'd have to discard if we play it this turn. Which is pretty unfortunate because we do want to hit lands. Well, we played on their turn, but yes, but we know they have at least two counter spells in their deck is the problem. So we don't want to. I don't. I don't care about the scry because we'll take lands or spells at this point. But the problem isn't giving up the scry; it's giving them an opportunity to counter it when they have a three-three and they did not pump it this turn. Ugh. All right. Well, that worked out well. I don't think they have a counter based on the speed with which that happened, so let's actually do that. I was too worried about audio to know. Okay, well, that's fair. That is fair. So next turn we can then play one guy. That is their one guy. We are going to go this into Colossus. And now I think we just uh, got a little further ahead here. Well, then. Yeah, we're going to do it again. Let's see if you got the double slime bind. Even if you do, it still deals four, so... Still a four eight. Like it's still pretty good. I'm just gonna kill all of your things. What if we upgraded this turn? It'd be 10 damage. So we take 6 more and they'd go to 6. We could upgrade next turn and just kill them. I hope they tap out for something that is not mass manipulation, which is not. Okay. But we don't have trample, which is the problem. Oh, neither of those guys can block us, though. So, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so... Ooh, 
Sometimes all I need is one, uh, one gateway colossus, my dude. Thirteen damage? It's okay. It's okay. Sending a message. Yeah, the message is that you lose the game. Here's the message, buddy. You dead. Can you give Mike a biogenic upgrade? No. Uh, if I did, it would probably be uh, to be less lazy. That would be the the upgrade. Uh, keep, keep it. I just need your stream spot. I've had to play the Eagles Greatest Hits 1975. I'm going to put together some furniture. Nice. Nice. Man, so you got me in the background and some, and some Eagles? That's pretty okay. Why don't you take it easy? Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. Don't let them, though. Don't let the sound of your wheels drive you crazy, because that's... Is it Ikea? Wow, that's real presumptuous. Harsh on... It was a little harsh on Mike. I agree with you. But the problem is, like, he went into work an hour and a half late on Monday. He had Tuesday, Wednesday off. He went in about a half an hour late yesterday. And he talked about how he was not looking forward to a 10-hour shift that he had today. And so he's still home now and he just didn't go into work. And it, it just gets to the point where I'm just like, as your roommate and someone who depends on you uh, for rent and for utilities... Um... I don't know, man. I care about Mike a lot. Like, a lot. Dude's one of my best friends. But it really drives me insane. Like, gets to me a lot. <laughs> How did it mean Mike meet me? Mike met, like, nine years ago playing Magic at the same store. Uh, it does sound like he's depressed, and I don't know what to do about it, because we've tried to be, me and my roommate, Felipe, we've tried to be motivational, we've tried to encourage him, we've tried to support him, and, like, try to help him get, like, interests or hobbies or, you know, passions, things he wants to do, projects, things like that, and it never works, nothing ever works. And, uh, it just gets to a point where I'm like, I don't know what I can do. There are not that many jobs available now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's rough, so... Oh, I consider streaming magic once or twice. I don't know. It seems like it's a hard thing to do. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. We can give one neg two. Kill them all. Kill them all. Okay. Oh, I'm familiar with depression. I, I have uh, I have suffered from depression 
on and off for years. That is definitely not unfamiliar to me. But like, it's it, it comes down to you can't help people who don't want to help themselves. And, um... You know, it's just a matter of like, I... Like, I haven't seen him leave his room since since this morning. I've been up since 12 o'clock noon, and like, he... I, it's, it's like 5.40 now, and I haven't even heard him go to the bathroom, so... I don't know. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to... I, I... I don't know. I have a lot of big, big creatures here. It's just hard to talk about because I don't want to. I don't want to shit talk anybody, especially because he's a great friend of mine. Let's go to damage. But it is something that bothers me on a daily basis. Like, daily. One, two... So, you say it's hard to be supportive, but I do it anyway. I, I, I try to. I seriously do. The problem is that, like, this happened last year. And um, he actually lost his job. <laughs> and so it was on me and Felipe to actually pay the rent for a month. And it took him like six months to actually pay us back. So I really just don't want that to happen again. Because obvious, obvious reasons. So like, I mean, it's one thing to lend support, but then like if you're actually putting us in an awkward position where like you lose your job and you don't have money saved up to pay the rent again it's really stressful it's a stressful situation is the problem So you're just casting this? Sure. I also love both of us, and I want us both to be happy. 100%. 100%. Load up your tears. <laughs> Uh, how are my eyes doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. I still have to use eye drops for like, they recommend like two months. I think they said like you could use them up to six months after the, after the procedure. And I was like, oh my god. So three, four, five, six. We don't have enough mana to keep up both of these. They have three, four, five, six. Let's just bash face here. We got plenty of. Do you find the pina colada more refreshing for the corneas or black cherry lemonade? Pina colada, black cherry lemonade is kind of acidic, so it kind of it burns a little more than I than I like. The pina colada is nice and smooth though, so it's it's much more uh, it's more soothing to the eyes. Let's say. If you ever want to move, I can flee Chicago. I can hook y'all up. I got a job. Mike can have my workplace. You can stream on a ton of GMs for best. That's why they can. Oh, that's actually hilarious. Uh, the cost of living might be higher though, right? And we'd have to deal with that negative seventy degree weather, right? Okay, hold on. View battlefield. Who are you? Triple blocking this guy. Three, 
four, five, six. Um, yeah, let's just do one of these jobs. I feel like we're way ahead here. Gonna end the turn. So the more I'm playing Arena, the more I feel like Standard is going to be total butts unless they ban Nexus of Fate. That's what I, I agree with that completely. It was nice on Magic Online. Not nice, but it was fine because, like, they had their time. They can do whatever they want with their timer. But, like, I have to keep doing things on here, and there's no way to time out. You can literally have a four-hour game on Arena. I mean, if you drew a two-mana removal spell, like a final pain. I'm going to tap this guy because I want you to block with this. And we have a Chillbringer and two Lethal Threats. Sounds good. Because Paper Magic exists. Right, yeah. Like, you can't ban a card. Like, digital card games can easily errata cards because there's no corollary in paper. You can't have a different standard format online than you do in paper. Sagittarius Volley seems great here because they have a bunch of bunch of nerds. I don't really want to take out any creatures because we don't have that many. I'll take one biogenic upgrade out. I don't know how you would just implement a timer now. Like, I think they built the, the client with the the thought that you don't need a timer for it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, there is a there is a timer. There's the rope that goes down. So we'll never need to build in a timer. So they might have to, like, it might be too hard to actually just, like, put a timer in, the in like, after the fact, you know? The rope thing is stupid. They're calling again. Alright, we're going to ship this hand. Okay. Okay. We should have actually played Forest first. The reason being that if we draw Open the Gates, we can play Open the Gates and then play the Gate afterwards. But we did not, so we don't have to worry about it. When is the PT? I don't even know. There's a lot of oligarchs.
Oh, they're gonna give a death touch? Sure, one's straight. Yep. I mean, I'm not gonna go to seven here. Like, that seems silly, so. Also, if we draw, like, Sagittarius Volley for this guy, it's actually pretty good. Oh, wow. It's, no, that, that's not a floaty boy, so. That's not a floaty boy. So we go block here, we take three, four, five, six, we go to three. Yikes. Hold on one second, guys. Well, we didn't draw a volley, and they played more flyers, so it's concede time. What's a green mountain pellet smoker? What even is that? <laughs> what a thing. I'm actually going to bring in this other quench. Like it a little better. Um, yeah, I'll keep that. Oh, I need a third land. I was like, oh, we have three mana sources, we can cast this, but I really should have just bottomed for a land there. There's still time. I hate playing Beastmaster and just having it uh, be a throwaway. Because they're probably just going to block one of these guys instead of going to 5. Or 11, rather, taking 5. I would take 5 and final payment this and then attack for 5. All of these creatures get Death Touch. Like, there's no reason not to attack with this guy, right? Because it's the same as... If I block here, it's the same as you sacking this to give this indestructible and death touch, and then you just lose this guy, right? So... Just block here. Mm.
Have you ever tasted freedom? That's really the question. Oh god, I don't want to thought collapse this, but I really don't want you to play more cards, so... I think putting six power on the board in the two-turn clock is actually thought, thought collapsible, but... It was not a great one to... Oh, we got another Senate Griffin, though, which we don't actually have a way to deal with right now. Oh, boy. Let's do this. Get a guild gate. Crack this. And play the guild gate. Okay. Yeah. Lifelink is an organized crime ability. That sounds accurate. Wow, a third Senate Griffin. Thank you. Interesting. Urza444, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. If you guys are watching on YouTube, feel free to check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. But it's also youtube.com slash Frank Lepore and twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Pretty easy to... Autumn Wings, what's going on? Always a pleasure, Amy. Uh, I'm just going to block here. I mean, you're going to sack this guy to give this death touch. It's fine, so we take none. Okay. Popper Prosecutors. They took people to court. Yep. Eh. So they have one card in hand. I mean, it's a pretty decent position to be in. It's not terrible. Well, that's a very good threat. I don't know why it was so. I don't know why you're. I don't know why you're so slow on playing that guy. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Well, we take an extra two, but they have to waste two turns. I think we are dead. So we take four, we go to three here, and they have two three-power flyers. Pretty... Our odds are pretty low here because they put they put us in a position where like even if they uh, even if we draw like fairy duelist or something yeah that's not gonna do it all right well we tried Sneeperino. Hey, we meet again for the first concede. What are we playing? Obviously not red. That's why you concede. Wow. That's rude. You're being rude. But you're right. But you're right. Dang it. We get a turn three eyes everywhere or a locket. That's pretty good. This costs six. Hmm. So there's no way to get it out in the turn after next, unfortunately. Um, I think it's actually more important to be scrying here. <laughs> oh, God. It's not rude if it's correct, but really, what, is, what did you draft? I don't know, some kind of Simic nonsense. 
I think things could still be rude if they're correct. Um, like, if I said, hey, I don't find you very attractive, like, it's correct, but it's still rude, you know? One, two, three. I'm just gonna keep up Thought Collapse. We don't actually need um, the extra mana yet. We don't have a six. We have a six drop, but like... Yes, tentacles. Always tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing Ravnica Allegiance Draft with Tentacles. You don't find me attractive? I didn't want to say anything. I really didn't because I didn't want to put any... Uh, I didn't want to put this kind of tension in between us. It's my birthday, y'all. It's not. Don't believe him. What do we have? Two lands and a Hazda officer. Alright, well, those are two, two medium commons there. Scrying every turn. That's a real thing, dude. Also, they don't have any blue, so we just get to keep whatever we whatever we exchange. I don't believe anything you've ever said. I don't either, you know, it's funny. Me and Mike are really good friends, but I don't believe anything he says. Uh keep. I feel like whenever I scry and I don't actually put the card on the bottom, I feel like I'm getting no value out of it. Huh. Uh, okay. Do you have, like, Death Touch? If so, it's fine. It's still a one for one. Okay. Like, you spent five mana to do this. It's fine. Fairy Duelist. Actually, I like that a lot because it gets rid of this guy. She's cursed to be with me and she's constantly fighting to find a way to break the curse. Wow, that's so dark. That's so sad. Yeah, that's fine. Not great, but fine. Are they gonna play around? Oh, we got them. That can leave. Huh. Well. They're attacking with both because they have another Blade Brand, clearly, which is the last card in their hand. But we have another Gate Colossus. So I'm okay with it. A little cutie. They have no cards in their hand. A little cutie. We get to scry forever. I don't know how anybody wins against that. Yeah. We just never have to draw these lands if we don't want them. We'll just draw different lands, I guess. Buckets of fun.
might as well play the land. We can crack this, I guess. Hey, the furious man, too many cooks in the kitchen. That's absurd. This is what I'm saying, dude. This is what I'm saying. What, can you can block with like one dude? Yeah, that seems good. Plus, we have Titanic Brawl and. Well, I guess we just have one up. Just this dude, huh? Let's put a little duelist on it. So now we get the double block here. He had so many fairy duelists. The world was never ready for his fairy duelist. Life. I don't know what it's, I don't know what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually go upgrade, 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 and then we have a Titanic Brawl still. Makes us a ten, a three, and a three. I'm okay with this. Ow, ow, ow. I'm going to Alpha Strike, guys. <laughs> He's writing his own. I uh, just got a response, so I had to reply to it. The, the Mike Saga continued is all. Could have actually killed this in response, but like they're just gonna chump block, right? So there's no real reason for it. Unless, of course, they have a blade brandy breaky boy. I don't think they do. See, now we can still do it, and it's fine. 
This is best of three. Yep, that guy is fine because it doesn't block anything. And you are likely dead. Wait, what? Oh god, did they not know this can't block? Oh man. God. Okay, Colossus. Okay, Colossus, why? I can also just steal this. Like, there's so many. We have m multiple onboard ways to get rid of this thing. One is not not caring. Nope. Like they're hovering over the Twilight Panther right now, and they're like, "Oh, I can't do that." Yeah, that, that's not gonna. That's not gonna do anything. Oh, they keep clicking it to block. <laughs> no, dude. No. No. Can I give him the oops? Oh, man. Good times. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna click it again. Give it death touch. No! I wanna block. Oh. Like, you can actually see the moment where they're like, Huh. This is awkward. Oh, good times. Let's take out one upgrade and put for another quench. I like the other quench in here. We don't have a lot of early stuff, so I think quench is actually probably better than... He's going for the super kill. Uh, double death touch means that the creature... Uh, it actually never gets drawn. That's how that works. I'm actually going to keep this because we got to open the gates. So we can actually get a gate. And then any... Any land we draw outside of that is just like, just gravy, you know? Wow, this is an aggressive play. All right. I think we're just keeping a quench up here because if we can hit another land, we can actually play lock it and quench. Yeah, that's good. Let's play that. Keep up the old quench arena. I guess we could play lock it into rampaging renhorn, but like I'd rather stop them from doing things and get get some value out of this quench than. Uh, rush the game. I guess, I mean, I, I could see either one. I think they're both fine. But they're also not hitting land drops, so I think that's gonna... I think that's gonna impact the game more than whether we hold up quench or don't hold up quench, so... I'm gonna be honest, I really like the locket sound effect. I don't know why. It's just a really uh, satisfying mechanical noise that happens there. Yeah, see, no, that, that guy's obnoxious. We could deal with the Fairy Duelist, though. I wanna just play something next turn, though, so. Oh, we could have just played. Oh, we could have just played Gate Colossus, which, believe it or not, is much much better.
That's pretty good. I mean, to be fair, I'd rather than make me sacrifice this than, than this, so... Well, they can't block this guy, so that's pretty cool. Also, if they try to, like, arrest their zeal or something, we could fairy duelist and make it still unable to block, so... We could play this, and if they sack this to this, we can give it negs. I kind of like that. This is also 10 and 10. It's a two-turn clock. All attacks. Resolve. Are they still trying to block the Gate Colossus? They could see them hovering over the Gate Colossus. Wow, they didn't take... Wow, no blocks whatsoever. Okay. Not what I would have done, but... Fair enough. They know this can't be blocked by creatures powered to it. No, I guess they don't. I guess they don't is the question. But, like... Did they not read it last time? Helping Frank live, also got my tax return. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, I'd love to counter this, but... But here we are. Uh, pass. Yeah, we're just gonna bounce both these guys and kill you, I think, so... Mm-hmm. 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 Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the support. You are the hero we need. Oh, a Sarah Angel. A classic. Oh my god, are we still talking about House of Leaves in the chat? This is unbelievable. You guys are... Yeah, you guys are going kind of crazy. Yeah, open the gates. Keep it. Let's open those gates. I like that we never have to get a Gruel Guild gate. Like, we have a Gruel Guild gate, but we never really have to get it. I never feel like I need to fix my land in such a way that I have to get this Gruel Guild gate out of my deck. Because if you if you held that, huh? 
Well, guess we'll see what happens. You have to be aware of a fairy duelist existence, right? Because I guess we could have actually given this guy the negative and taken one less, but if they had like the plus one plus one, I guess that doesn't. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. It would still be a one two. It would survive. So, but then it would kill our guy. I have not read House of Leaves. Yep, we just want to hit lands here. Yep, that's a good one. When is the next podcast? I actually have no idea. I assume, uh, I assume that's Tim. Uh, yeah, no blocks. We can go. There. Not too scared of that. God, I do want to keep this, but I think we're gonna get enough value off of the eyes everywhere. I do want to hit untapped lands here. Should have actually played that post combat. Okay, didn't matter. Got value anyway. Scuttle Gator. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, don't care about that. Um. Tempted to just block here. I hate that it costs six. I think five would have been fine. Six is just like so much. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy's gonna come out the gates in a second. I will keep that on the top. <laughs> it seems good. Um, they have two cards in hand. I don't actually think they're counter spells. Yeah, those are resolving really fast, so I'm assuming they're not. I like that it's still targeting this. I targeted this guy. Biogenic upgrade next turn seems pretty good because it gives all our guys flying. And if they want to actually activate the Scuttle Gator, we can block with the Duelist. I think that's fine. This becomes a 9-9. Nine -nine. That's big. Oh, fascinating. Just, just in case. Uh, these guys actually have flying, so we're going to actually say this guy, this guy, and this guy. I hope you don't have a counter spell. Or an arrester's admonition. Okay. Well, that, that prevents you from doing this, and this is why we actually kept the second one. They could double block here, which is pretty bad for us. How long does it take to do that? I have no idea. I have not been to Diamond yet, so. OK. 
Okay, let's see if they have a second counter spell. Let's try it again. We can get around a quench. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. God, the eyes everywhere, man. A scrying every turn is no joke, guys. It is no joke. Uh, yep, yeah, bring that quench in. Beautiful quench. God. What is this chat going on, man? Uh, God, open the gates is nice. I'm going to keep this because we have two lands with the open the gates. We go turn one, open the gates. Maybe we just get a, a land here. I don't think this card's very good here. I want to keep up Quench next turn, but maybe I don't care about Quench next turn. I think the gate's probably more relevant. You can also just draw regular land anyway, uh, an island. Sure. We did not draw a land or an island. Miss a land drop. Don't miss a land drop. One time. I ain't playing with you, Magic. Cool. Okay. Now I don't have to discard. <laughs> I do feel like we have two Titanic Brawls in our hand every game. I feel like they're pretty okay normally. But we're really in a position where it's like, no, I, I don't have anything to use this on. Oh, wow, look, they have their own eyes everywhere. And we still have no lands. Okay. Oh, boy. There are two in there. Three, four, five, six, seven. No. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna counter this? You got it. Hey, man, you got it. You got it. At least we get Titanic Brawl next turn. Okay, no blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you hit another land, you can make this a five, five. I'm gonna pass. Okay. 
playing these at with no value is pretty weird. I actually don't feel like we're dead, which is kind of funny because we missed like four land drops. The amount of pressure here is pretty low. Pretty comically low. That is rough. You're exchanging your eyes everywhere for a 1-2 fairy duelist? You're gonna let me scry every single turn now? This is all very strange. This does not seem like a great idea. Okay, well. Yeah, we can take three more in the next turn controlling torrent and get our own guy back. And then we just get to keep eyes everywhere. Man, what in the earth, dude? Sure. Well, that's good if you get a creature. Which would have been easier had you eyes everywhere. That and the six the six land we're gonna put on the bottom. Spell. What in the hell? Why didn't you counter? Wow, two Chillbringers. That's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's sad. Oh god, if they use their second eyes everywhere to steal the first eyes everywhere, that's literally eyes everywhere. Uh, I see. I'm like putting this on the bottom every time because I think the scrying is just actually better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They don't have enough mana to. Oh, it has a counter on it, so it can attack. That is fascinating. Wow, that was a very good draw. Can't we just actually put a million counters on this guy? And then they just have to block it with the gator. But if they draw any, like, 3-3, three, three, they give it haste. So we actually have to be careful. But they do have to block. And this guy's lethal, so if they don't draw anything, like... Easy jump block. Or don't. Whatever you want to do. Just dodging a creature. Dodging a 3 3. We're in combat. We have dodged a 3 3. Can I just steal this guy and kill you? Okay. We can keep this on top. We can switch. Yeah, they're they're dead. Wow, 
Wow, this game was nuts. I think I actually want one less upgrade and one more quench. I think quench has been good. Well, we got three wins. That's pretty good. I feel like we had way too few two drops and three drops to actually make this great. But here we are. We're doing okay. So, I'm okay with that. Casual Mercrawl. <laughs> If this is a green, we probably keep it because we opened the gates. Otherwise, we are going to mulligan us and would have rather had the first hand. Okay, we'll keep this. Put you on the bottom. Eyes everywhere actually might get us back in this game. I guess we'll see. I really like how this changes. Like, oh, it's six, six mana in your hand. That's actually really sweet. This is the thing I wish Magic Online did, but it never did. I think people underestimate being able to scry every single turn in limited. Like, you have so many dead draws that, like, if you're just able to mitigate those draws, it's really good. Like that. However, now they have a 4-4. I actually thought this was the counter spell for double blue, so I was like, oh, I might as well play Eyes Everywhere because I, for some reason I just literally blanked on the counter spell. Oh my god, so many titanic brawls and so few creatures. I'm really not okay with the amount of damage we're going to be taking from this Gatebreaker Worm. However, if we can if we can go take 5, play a land, take 5, go to 5, play a land, and then switch for 6, what could go wrong? Are they just not going to play anything ever again? This is ridiculous. Oh boy. Alright, well. Oh my god. So we got a two here? What could go wrong? They were trying to make us go to one? That ain't cool. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm probably just going to play Gate Colossus because letting them scry every turn is a little bit scary. I'm not sure they have get the point. They're going to kill this guy, attack for seven. So. Sure. I'm tempted to bring in the uh, the the make a three three, because like, I mean, getting rid of a seven seven or six six or five five gate goat. Six drop, uh, six drop, eight drop hand. That's okay with me. I mean, if we hit, if we hit lands regularly, I think we're good. So, if we hit lands regularly, he says, famous last words. Remember the time we're like, hey, we do a three one, we're doing pretty good with our deck. It's kind of cool. Uh, well, man, I had to catch up with you eventually, I guess. Yep. Cool. I'm just gonna play this. There's no, I, I mean, I, there's no reason to discard a card. 
a card here for the the minor value that we might get off of a fairy duelist if they if we uh, manage to attack with it. But yep, still a little rough here. If they don't play a gate, we might. Wow, did we just get to eat a gate? Oh, a go oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is a totally fine trade. Get the 4-4 off the board? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, still dead. Still not great. Still not wonderful. We saw skewer, so it's it's riskier to play this. But I'd rather if they're gonna kill something, I'd rather them kill this. If they have a different removal spell, like the sacrifice or the uh, yeah, like that. If this would be a four four, they'd still kill it. So now they get to deal six. Yeah, that doesn't change. done. Just these two? No, just this guy? Alright. No. no. What can we do? We can put you on top, but then you can still play it. Uh, we can't quench it after that. I guess we just play Shark and keep up Quench and Brawl? That doesn't seem great. Also, they got a second land. Um, I think it's fine. Oh, yeah, all right. It's not great. I, oh, cancel that. I think we're dead here. There's that scorpion. Get it. <laughs> I totally missed it. Yep, never fails. All right. Well, we, we tried. 3-2. Okay. Well, do let's claim our prizes, which I'm not even excited about anymore because they're all just it's literally just gems now, 20 gems. So, like, basically, win an extra here's an extra 60 gems on top of your on top of your win. Oh, man. 
This is a bad change. I don't like this change at all. Oh, is it a mythic? It is. It's a Rakdos showstopper. So yeah, like I said, 60 gems. What? Two mythics? Woo. Woo. Somebody must like me, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're on Twitch watching, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. If you're on YouTube, thank you so much. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Really appreciate it. And I upload videos constantly. So you'll get notifications and you can support the channel that way. Otherwise, you can go to Twitch or Patreon. Links are in the description below if you want to support the channel like that. Even if you just watch on YouTube, if you have an Amazon Prime uh, account and you want to connect it to Twitch and you want to give me a sub every month, really appreciate that as well. It definitely helps out. And uh, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. So you got 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have a great night.